Hey guys, it's Natalia and welcome back to another vlog. So today is Monday, November 1st. So we are three days away from launching. I launched this Thursday on the 4th, so very excited about that, but I still have a couple of samples to get through for my pattern maker, so yikes. I am finishing up on these. She's had some Wi-Fi issues. I've had Wi-Fi issues. I have not had time to do this, so yeah. Uh, the thing is, it's been raining here. You probably can't see it, but it's been raining all weekend, and I work outside because that's where I get Wi-Fi, and you know, you can't work outside with a laptop when it's raining, so been a bit iffy, and also the connection has been like kind of iffy because of all the rain and stuff, so that's that. But today, I wanna get these last couple of samples done so that I can send her any corrections if needed, though I do think these are gonna be like solid once they're you know sewn up I think they're good so that's that I'm getting set up right now and yeah this is also my last week that I'm gonna be here so very sad but also kind of excited to go home kind of not because I know I'm gonna go home to like winter basically which is rough and just a lot of work and things but also gonna be good to be back in like a routine and stuff but also I am still sick and like still have a cold and it's been ongoing for like a week and a half at this point and um, I'm very over it so love that for me anyway let's sew some samples <laughs> So here's the sample for the Victoria dress, which is the one with like the longer um, slit and stuff. Obviously it's a little bit harder to fit without having like the straps and everything, but I think this fits a lot better than the last one. The last one that we had was a little short on the torso, but I think this one lays a lot better like right on the waistline. I mean, obviously muslin doesn't fall the same way that, you know, the nice like silks do, but um, you can see that it's going to like fall pretty decently. The darts, I think, might be like the tiniest bit too high, but I don't know, I'm gonna think on it. It's like right at like the middle of my boob, so it's usually supposed to be like a little bit under that, but I don't know, I'm gonna have to like think on it a little bit as far as that placement, and I think it might just be the tiniest bit too big because this is like a little loose even though I have it pinned where the seam allowance is supposed to be, so I might make it the tiniest bit tighter, but other than that, this is good. The skirt for this has already been checked and it's good, so I don't need to do anything there, it's just the top part that we are fitting. The back is good, but I think I might make it a little bit lower lower is the only thing. It seems a little high up compared to the ones that I have, so so those are the things that I'm going to send over for this one. So here is this top. This is the Irene top, the one that wraps around in the back. And this is the first sample of this one, but I think this one's like pretty solid. It was pretty straightforward on the fit, and I gave her really good measurements for it, just because the pattern's a lot more simple. Obviously the sleeves are missing, but I checked those and those are good. So yeah, this is this one. This one I can just approve right away, which we love to see. So there is that. Hello and welcome to launch day. It is November 4th. It's currently like 10.45 a.m. here and I am still trying to figure out my website, trying to get everything ready. I'm opening up my website for my Patreon members first, like 10 minutes before the actual launch of everybody else. So they're gonna get early access to it, which is exciting. So I wanna make sure everything is ready to go. I got a lot of my patterns back today and and I wanted to, you know, send them off to get printed. I usually use the website PDF Plotting and I went to log into it and it, it tells me it is blocked in this country because it's probably only US based. They probably blocked every other country so they don't get random orders around the world because they're, you know, US based. So I'm a little annoyed because I can't do that myself now. So I'm gonna have to like tell Kennedy to print these out for me, which is a little annoying. But but, you know, we live and we learn. We have had a lot of troubles out here. But other than that, I think everything is somewhat ready to go. There's still a few patterns I need to honestly, like, check. The pants I haven't checked yet. And there was one more, I think, that I wanted to double check before I, like, confirm that the corrections and all of that are good to go. But I do have two patterns, or three at least, that are solid for now. So that's something. But I think at this point, I might just wait until I get orders in and then print the patterns according to the sizes I get. Because obviously I have a big size range um, from zero to 36, and I don't want to print out every single pattern if I'm not going to get orders in every single size, just because of the 
the cost of it. I don't want to just, you know, have that if it's not going to be used. So I might just wait until later today to do that. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm also annoyed because Instagram decided to update recently and every time it updates, it just kills my engagement and it just like kills everything I had going on for me. And I'm really annoyed because lately my posts have only been getting like maybe three to 500 likes on my brand account, which is very out of the norm because I usually get up to a thousand at least because I literally have like almost 28,000 followers. So it makes no sense to have less than that so i'm really annoyed my engagement is down a lot and i was looking at all my analytics for it and my reach is down a lot too my reach is only up to like 3,000 people when it's usually at around like 10,000 or more so i'm very annoyed because it's right when i'm launching and i don't want people to like miss it if they've been following it for a while since i have been like promoting it for a couple months like i feel like i'm gonna launch and nobody's gonna see it and you know it's just like i've worked so much for this and for so long and of course it's like right when it happens everything just decided to go to crap so i'm very annoyed and my tiktoks have also been doing really really poorly which is also very frustrating they haven't even gotten to a thousand views like a lot of them are stuck at like 400 or 500 views which is nothing compared to the almost 66,000 followers i have like you know what i mean it's like the ratio doesn't make sense and obviously my following is organic i've never paid for followers i, I don't I do those things i don't do follow for follow type of thing or anything like that like it's all been organic so it's all people that genuinely want to follow me so it's annoying that they don't even get to see my content so yeah i'm annoyed but hopefully it all goes well we'll see with the launch today i'm honestly just nervous because of all of this i feel like my youtube's also been down a little bit lately and i just don't know what else to do because i'm putting in all the effort i'm doing all the things that i've always done that i've always done well and it just isn't doing well so anyway that is um my update for right now I am going to finish up perfecting the website and doing all the things and then I'm actually gonna get my hair cut Which I'm excited about my mom and I are getting her hair cut She needs to get her hair like thinned and stuff and they do it really well here So she's gonna do that and I was like well I might as well just get my um, ends trimmed as well because they're a little rough So doing that and then once we come back we'll have lunch and then it'll be launch time for me So my launch is at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and that is 5 p.m. Here because we had the like hour change or whatever savings time it's called so so we're five hours ahead instead of six like we usually are right now because the US hasn't switched over yet So that's actually good for me because it's a little earlier than I expected it to be which is nice Anyway, I'm gonna continue doing all this and I will get back to you guys probably around the launch time. So let's do it <music> So I'm at my aunt's house because it's too cold outside for me to want to be outside of my grandma's house and I wanted to make sure my Wi-Fi was like spot on. So I just got everything ready as far as the website and everything that I needed to do. I have switched over the password for the site so that I have my post ready for my Patreon members to be able to log on first. But now I'm honestly just kind of waiting and trying to just be active on social medias and stuff and making sure everything is like looking good. I feel like there's always something that I mess up on on a launch whether it's like forgetting to put like the little sizing pop-up that comes up when you purchase something or the shipping weight of something or whatever but i'm gonna go through it one more time to make sure that it's good but i'm excited i'll show you guys what it looks like so here is my shop page i've got the adelaide dresses first then i've got the pants the juliet dress the adele tops the irene tops we've got the victoria dresses the sweatshirts, and then some pre-made stuff that I still had um, from earlier on. But super excited with how all of this looks. I am literally so excited. Also, I got my hair cut, um, and it's actually a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. I told her to just cut off all my dead ends and to, like, just make it healthy. And she was like, you're going to need to cut off a lot to make it healthy because my hair was super, super dry. So I was like, whatever, let's just do it. I mean, my hair feels wonderful, but it is a lot shorter than it has been. Um, but, you know, here we are. So that's fun. That's new. That's kind of all I have for now. Now it's 4.38 so I've got about 20 minutes until we launch so I guess 10 minutes until I like pre-launch for my Patreon members but 20 for the full launch so I will catch you guys in a little bit. 
So I just opened it up to my Patreons and I don't have that many of them so I don't think that they're gonna shop too much in all honesty but just open it up to them so I have about eight minutes now until the actual launch so that's my update. Okay, so it's now like 520-ish, um, and we've got quite a few orders in. The green dress, the Emerald Adelaide dress, sold out with the Patreon members. So that one sold out technically before it even launched. The Victoria dress sold out like two minutes in. The red Adelaide dress also sold out like within the first five minutes. And I think that's all that's officially sold out right now, but um, we're getting quite a few orders in at a time. So yeah, the green Adelaide dress is sold out. The red one is there's only one of the silver top left and the gold top as well and then the black victoria dress is also sold out so that's kind of where we're at with everything doing really well i'm like very happy about everything i did not know how it was gonna go so it's nice to see that orders are coming in and i will be able to pay my rent this month that is a great uh feeling so i'm gonna go back downstairs and just hang out with my grandparents for the rest of the day but yeah that's that's it for this update i might update you guys later tonight if not tomorrow or something with how everything else is going but i'm also leaving tomorrow so yeah just a lot going on at once yeah that is the update Okay, so I'm about to go back downstairs. It's been actually a lot longer. It's almost been an hour at this point because it's almost six, but I got quite a few more orders and I went ahead and also sent Kennedy the files for the pattern so she can buy those and get those printed for me since I can't access the website from Spain. So I went through all the orders and looked at the sizes and stuff and sent her the ones that I need to be printed thus far. So I got that ready as well. And I'm just feeling very grateful. This launch is a lot better than I expected it to be or than I thought it would be. And it's better than so many of the past launches I've had over the last couple of months. So I'm very, very content, very happy. I have so much work to do when I get home, but you know what? That is okay. It's been a while. So yeah, um, I will maybe catch you guys later. Maybe tomorrow we will see, but that is my final update launching right now.